Hey y'all, just really quickly today, I am gonna just teach you very, very quickly how to go into your rev slider and get that short code to paste into your page or post if you need your slider to show up on a page or a post, right? So some of us think, well, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it can be tricky and it's completely different in the new upgraded version past 5.0. So if you're running a version prior to 5.0, you're gonna see a screen that looks something like this. Uh, once you've created a slideshow, this is your short code right here. You're gonna copy this onto your clipboard. Just right mouse click, copy. And you'll go into a page or a post, wherever you'd like to place that. And you're just gonna simply paste it. That's what I've done here. You're gonna paste it inside your visual or text mode, it doesn't matter. And then once you uh, publish the page, you will see your slideshow sitting there. All right, that's how you do it in actually either a page or a post. That's simply done whenever you're using that um, inside a version uh, older, prior to 5.0. In the newer version, let me show you. Once you've created your slider, let's go back here and so I can show you all of them. And I will show you, I'm going into this, I'm gonna click the little gear icon to go into the settings area. Once you're in this space now, you're actually looking for the short code right here. Okay, that's the short code you would then copy and go into your uh, pages and you would be able to paste it in that space. Let me go back over here and paste it in that space, okay? The other thing you can do is just choose from right here. Here's your drop down option. As soon as you've created a slider and it's published, you can just simply go to your drop down option here and choose that one and it will install for you. If you're in the text mode, you will not see that option. If you're in the visual mode, you will though, okay? So once that's there, you can then click update and it will activate that slider on any page or any post. As long as there's no theme conflicts, it should work perfectly. I hope this helps today. This was sent in from one of our awesome uh, YouTube uh, viewers. So if you're interested in getting your WordPress questions answered, be sure to subscribe to our channel and tweet to us. Let us know that you have some questions and we look forward to helping you. Bye-bye y'all.